to do many things. For me, life is too short to be doing the same thing all the time. Even with my music, every album is another challenge for me because I want to live fully my life. And if I have the opportunity to do a lot of things that can be empowering for people, I just do. The first language I hear is the language of my mother, is Yoruba. And then my father was always there speaking. I start singing before I start making phrases. Because I was surrounded by aunties and uncles that were always singing about this or that and music around the house. I come from an oral tradition. Nothing is written for me to go read in a book. So if you don't ask, how do you know? My curiosity was endless. <laughs> That's the kind of child I was, asking questions all the time. My nickname was when, why, how. On my way back from school, I'm always excited. I'm like, who's going to be in the house speaking the language I don't understand? Who's gonna bring his music and I'm gonna listen to it? I mean, it's, that's how music has become something very central to my being because I learned to know people and culture, people's culture through their music. When somebody comes to visit, the person comes start speaking the language, so you start listening to it and you start making that language yours. So I won't say I was speaking one language, I was speaking multiple languages since I was a kid. Well, one thing that um, is really important that I want to bring here is that we need to teach our kids at early age at least two different languages. Because when you speak different languages, you learn better. You understand the world not being just the focus of the language you, are, you grew up in. Grew up in. And where, where I am right now at my age, I'm still learning language. I still want to learn more language. Because to make things clear, we need to speak people's language. And I think that we underestimate the importance of languages. And we need and we owe our children, this generation coming, for them to be bilingual, trilingual, any language they want to learn. A child is not an object. It's another human being that we brought on earth. That child should grow up and say, I'm interested about your language and your culture. How can we sit and talk? What can we do together? That it comes back to music being a universal language because we are there for each other. It's my passion for language that make me choose music because I know I could use it. I could use it to touch people. The passion for singing in different languages come from the fact that I have been exposed to different type of music from all over the world. The thing about music is, uh, if you're not humble, you don't touch people. Because speaking in a language that people don't understand, I got to be naked spiritually for people to be able to do what they do with me. It means you have to accept that your vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength to be able to reach out to people in front of you. Let's sing. The song goes like this. Ashe mama, ashe mama, Africa. Ashe mama, ashe mama, Africa. Let me hear you. Come on, y'all. Ashe mama, Africa. Come on, second time. Ashe mama, ashe mama, Africa. Now you alone. Are you for real? <laughs> huh? Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my God. We wanted them to sing. No, we can't stop. 
Every time I'm on stage, I have a vision. I have a vision of the world. The map of the world is there. People from different walk of life, different, different part of the world. And the only thing that we share together is that universal language that we have engraved in our DNA. We have 12 notes. And those 12 notes has no color, has no language. It is just there in our DNA, so engraved that you move without thinking. Because when you're singing in the public, in a concert, if you're alone home, you're doing it, nobody's seeing you, okay. But you are so mind, mindful of yourself when you come to a concert. You don't want to do any of that. But the power of music help you get out of your, your comfort zone and go, the heck with it. I want to sing, I want to dance, I want to be part of this humanity. And that's what the power of music is. That's what music is for me. I mean, it's not about me. Music, I'm always at the service of music, always. Music demands generosity. I've been told things I started singing since I was a kid by my uncles, my aunties, everywhere in my village. That talent of yours is not given to you for you to keep it. It's given for you to share it with the most people around the world. And when you understand that it's not a burden, but a gift to share, that's what keeps me humble. Seeing people singing in my language, not understanding what they are singing about. Come on, yo! So my voice, where it come from, if you have any way to talk to God, go ask him, because I don't know. I don't know. musician it's a privilege I say that and I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't sing anymore I don't want to even think about it but being on stage for me is like being on heaven I don't know what heaven look like but is heaven look like that the day I die God is in for trouble <laughs> 